Yo, what up, YouTube? It's the Lore Master. Going to be talking about episode five and six of Orville in this uh, video. Because I've been a little bit behind, I just decided to combine the two or whatever. So what I'll do is I'll put timestamps in below, and you can select it through it on YouTube and just scroll to whatever episode you want to listen to my thoughts on. Starting out, just episode five. Episode five was all right. It was kind of just boring to me. Um, I feel like. What they're doing with Orville is they have like a serious episode and they kind of have like a fun episode is what they're doing. I've been kind of wanting more of the fun episodes, like see episode six was kind of a fun episode. But with episode with episode five was more of a serious one. Episode five was the uh, Auckland, I think, or whatever. Uh his daughter, um, or his son or whatever figured out that he was actually born a girl, but in their society they only allow uh males or whatever. So since he found that out, um he wanted to go back to being a girl, but since they're like so connected with the union, if they do that, it's going to be like a break of trust with like the union or whatever. I don't know. It was just kind of weird. Um, it was mostly just about his son or daughter, whatever you want to call her, him. I don't know. That's kind of like a confusing part or whatever. Opa was his name, her name. I don't know how you say that. Um, they transitioned back to a girl. They got around it by letting Isaac do it since he's not officially a union member. He can perform the surgery. And yeah, they did that on the Orville. So it didn't like break the laws of having like um, them being able to do the surgery and like uh, a, a union member doing the surgery or whatever. So they get around it and they could keep um, their alliance with the Mocklins, I think is what they're called. Something like that. But yeah, episode five was just kind of long and boring to me um not much really went on it was just kind of that debate between like should they transition back or should they not or whatever one of the more of the serious episodes that kind of discussed like current like events or whatever in our society you know like people going through all that but yeah that's kind of what episode five was about um episode six uh was a really good episode i liked episode six this week um it was about gordon he went to um they have found that, like, there's this machine in their ship that they found that it can uh, send stuff back in time or whatever. And they're like, oh, shit, this machine's actually more powerful than we thought or whatever. They didn't realize they could do that. So they're going to take it to a, a base so they can keep it under wraps and study it more but, so nothing bad happens with the, the timeline. But as they're going back to this base, it's attacked and they are attacked. So then they like try to run away and they're like, well, we can't let this fall into enemy hands. So they go to blow up the device, but they uh, overload their shields or whatever at the same time that um, he's getting ready to shoot the device to blow it up. And it sends out a pulse wave and launches him back in time. So Gordon is now in the year 2015 and he sends out a message from that year saying, hey, I'm in 2015, come pick me up. So when the Orville gets back to Earth, they use the device to try and time travel back they re they arrive in 2025 so they're 10 years late and gordon already has a family yeah it turns out that uh since he's 10 years late gordon has a family and he doesn't want to go back to the year 2400 whatever it is he's like dude my life's here now you know but they're like you can't you broke all the time laws or whatever so we got to take you back and he's like i'm not going so what they decide to do is they decide to use the time machine again go back to 2015 since they got more of the fuel for their ship and then they re-rescue him again from the timeline or whatever. And they bring his 2015 version back to the year 2400. So those, the events that we saw in this episode never really actually took place or whatever. It's one of those fun, like, time travel episodes of, like, what actually happens or whatever. Yeah, and uh, it was just a fun episode in general. Not really much else to say about it. It's just, like, uh, I just enjoy the whole time travel stuff. Having a fun episode where they kind of just, like, don't take anything serious. It's more just about kind of telling a creative story instead of bringing today's issues to um, the show or whatever. That's kind of what I enjoy about it. I know some people like that um, when the shows bring today's issues into a sci-fi, like, kind of story or whatever. Some of those can be all right, but some of them it just kind of, you know, you're kind of tired of seeing that stuff in today, so it's kind of boring to me. But that's kind of where we're at. Overall, I'm... Each episode is kind of, like, hit and miss for me, like... Next one might be bad for me, that then the next one might be really good. So it's kind of like kind of up and down on Orville this season. I'm not really like loving it. I actually really liked uh Strange New Worlds. I think I might like that better than Orville. I don't know. We'll have to see. Orville, it's like it seems like it's higher quality, but not necessarily better. I don't know if that makes sense. Like the the budget like seems like it's 
There's more budget behind Orville. Um, but the story just... I don't know. There's something about Orville. I just can't put it, my finger on it. I'm just not loving this. But other than that, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, thank you. Let me know what you all thought about them. Do all the fun YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe. You know, you know the drill. It's YouTube. So we'll catch you next time.